Hello everyone, and welcome back to Roblox. Today, we're going to be going over a game called Driving Empire, and I'm going to show you guys something that something that will really help newer players in this game. All right. Now, if you haven't heard of this game before, it's not just a racing game. I mean, basically, it's an open world game where you can get all sorts of vehicles like cars, trucks, you know, and even planes and boats and stuff. And it's, you know, work in progress. There's supposed to be an update next Sunday. Um, so, yeah, they say expect bugs and many issues, but I don't find. And there are some things I found, few little problems, but not much. This game is really nice, really fun, literally the best driving game I've ever seen. Like, seriously, I'm not big on driving games, but I enjoy this. I love this game. So yeah, definitely worth playing. So yeah, we're just gonna head on in and I'll show you the best early game drag racer. So here we are in the game um, at spawn. Behind me is the dealership and basically the car you're going to want to get is this 2022 Prancep Futuro Turbo. I probably butchered that name, but yeah, as you can see, it's this nice little electric car. Okay. Although it does look like a convertible, it's not, but it is literally one of the best drag racers you can get in the early game. So yeah. And of course, especially after you get upgrades. So basically, we're just... Now, it might take a minute for you to get if you just start the game. Let me just turn that down. Um, hold on, what did that say? Oh, I hope it didn't cut out the audio, my voice. Um, anyway, well, we're just going to keep going like normal. So basically... If you'll scroll down here, ah, uh, here it is. It costs one hundred seventy-two thousand four hundred dollars. Now that's two hundred grand, which can take some time to get. And basically, if you've got the first vehicle, well, well, it might take you a minute to get that. So, yeah, the best way to really get that would be to just use. Well, this, I sold my starter vehicle, so yeah. Uh, this this vehicle would be decent enough. Um, if not, just use the vehicle you get when you start the game. You can get it. You can get this vehicle from doing this plus twenty five thousand, which will kind of put you towards it. So, uh, no, you don't. So yeah, basically just drive around. As you can see, your cash goes up while you drive. If you're a passenger in the car, then it won't go up, but you will get money if you just drive it normally. Now, I'd never really buy a smart car myself. Okay, but, you know, this car, it's decent. A decent beginner car. I suppose for getting cash, and of course, you know, don't, and really just save up till you get money. And of course, you can also get money by doing races. You're not going to win, but you'll still get money. I'd recommend doing like the cross country race with this car or the starter car. You'll still get like 25 grand if you get second place or something like that. Okay. Try to get like, or you know, have like, just do any of these races. See if anyone will agree to let you win second place. Cause yeah. Anyway, no matter how you do it, once you get the 175,000, just um, come back to the dealership and then buy this car, all right? Okay, and then what you're going to want to do, once you have the car, is take it down to the drag strip, okay? This is the best place to take it. Now, mine is upgraded, and obviously, if yours is not upgraded, it won't be as good as mine. But you can win a bunch of races like this and with this car and work yourself up to getting the upgrades, alright? Because let me tell you, 
getting first place in drag racing is better than second place in cross country. Okay? See, so I'm just going to show you guys what this thing can do with the full boost, with everything, once you get all the upgrades. As you can see, they did it in like 11.36 seconds, 9.54 seconds. All right, that, that typically you're going to see, you know, 8 seconds, you know, 8 seconds, 7 seconds. But what this thing can do with the boost and everything, Six point seven four seconds. I've gotten it down to six point six eight seconds, but that was one time. And you know, that's basically just a tiny bit of a difference. Not even gonna matter. But that's basically what this car can do with max upgrades, okay? Basically it will absolutely destroy most any early game vehicle in this game. If you want to beat this car in a drag race, you're gonna have to have a multi-million dollar vehicle or spend robux because i don't have the robux boost on this car i just have the um i just have the normal powerful boost if you get the robux boost you will be near invincible in this car So yeah, this is definitely the best drag racer to get in the early game, because 200 grand, that can be fairly easy to get. I hit the side there. I'm not the best driver. Um, but yeah, anyway, it's a decent car. It speeds up pretty nicely, you know, all the doors and hatches open, which is not something you see for every car. So yeah, definitely a car definitely a car you go, you're going to want to get. And then, of course, that's just for drag racing. Getting first place in cross country is the best if you can do it multiple times, right? If you can just basically do it over and over and over and over again, just like repeatedly go cross country over and over again, getting first place every time. That is better than doing drag racing over and over and over again. Okay? Because this thing will, will give you near consistent wins in drag racing all right and that's so yeah that's better than consistent second place with cross country okay so yeah if you can get someone to agree to let you win cross country multiple times definitely do that instead hello um but anyway you just try hitting me now he's just trying to get in the shot. Okay, anyway, um, yeah, but if you can get consistent wins with cross country, then do it. And to do that, you'll probably have to, you know, get someone to let you win consistently. But till then, till that happens, do drag racing over and over and over again. That's super annoying, and personally, I'm sick of doing drag racing because I've done that. But uh, look what all I've been able to buy, you know? Now, for consistent wins in cross country without people letting you win, we'll get into that in another video. But for now, just get this. It gets a decent time on cross country. Its handling is pretty good, it just does not brake well. That's really the only problem. I have the maximum brake upgrade on it, and it still does not brake well. So, yeah, yeah, it just takes a bit of practice. And yeah, so anyway. This is a good car to get. Definitely get this one early game, because it is the best one to get early game for drag racing. Because you're not going to really win the other races in the early game. You're not going to win the other ones. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like. Maybe consider hitting subscribe. And yeah, with that, sayonara.